Hi, welcome to Sunny's Car Wash Factory. One of the new frequently asked questions we get is about our new uh, Sunny's Hico pulse generator and our uh, pulse control box is how to set the parameters on it. Let's take a look and I'll show you how to walk you, I'll walk you through it. So once we power up our um, output control box and we've connected our cable to our controller for our pulse input, and we've connected the other cable that's supplied with it all the way to the proc switch on the Hico gearbox, um, now we're ready to do our set up our programming on our parameters based on chain and controller type. So in here we actually touch this little gear and wrench and that'll take us through the screens. Uh, we go to more options, we get chain settings or calibrate speed. We're going to start off with chain settings. Over here, do we want to modify the settings in the controller? We say yes. We want to tell it what our cars, what our output's going to display is going to read. Do we want to see um, the cars per hour that we can process at this chain speed or does somebody want to see feet per minute? I like cars per hour, so I'm going to hit that button. Then I'm going to choose my type of chain. We've set it up for log chain, SC78 chain, and X458 chain, because each one has a different uh, inches of travel per revolution. So if we choose log chain, we take that one there. And then we want uh, an output resolution as uh, inches per pulse. So on the controller that we use, we like to do uh, an eight inches per pulse. So we type eight and we hit enter. Um, now it's set up to give us an output, when we start the conveyor up, it'll give us the speed that we're running at. It's telling us that we're set up for log chain and we're going to get a pulse every eight inches of travel sent to our controller. So then we can set all our on off cycles based on that formula. If um, you have a different controller, uh, consult with them whether they want uh, one pulse per revolution, whether they want one pulse per 12 inches, one pulse per one inch, depending on what they can handle, you can ask that question and you can set it up and choose whatever parameter you want there. If you actually change a sprocket during the cycle of a, of a chain uh, wear, sometimes there's a reason to do a, an output modifier. People will say, I changed my sprocket and all of a sudden all my timing's off. Well, that's what the button calibrate speed is for. If you touch calibrate speed, it's going to say, hey, warning, uh, we're set up at a certain parameter. If you want to change it, you know, say continue. So we'll say continue. Um, so now we come here and we say, okay, calibration. It's set it up 100%. So basically, it's going to take all the parameters and it's going to do exactly that. But say we change the sprocket and all of a sudden we're now moving um, a little bit further per revolution because the sprocket is now full size, not worn out with grooves and seats in it. So we're actually, we've lost a little space or we've, at, we've gained a little couple inches. We can uh, modify this. We press the clear button to take away the 100%, and we can go to 98% by touching 98 and then hit enter. And what will happen is either everything will speed up a little bit or slow down a little bit. So depending on whether you are having everything come on a little bit late, um, you might want to increase that to 102%. If it's coming on a little bit early, then you might want to decrease it back to uh, 98% or vice versa. Um, it's a nice, neat feature because we do have that problem as the sprockets wear. Um, the diameter gets smaller, the inches of travel per revolution change, and it'll take everything and take it off a little bit. It doesn't happen much. Most people don't notice it unless you do a really big change. And, and again, you put a new chain on old sprocket or new sprockets on old chain. I hope this tip helps. And uh, if you want to find some more frequently asked question videos, log on to sunnysdirect.com forward slash FAQ, and you'll find some more tidbits of information.